there, my name's Miss Red Nebula, and welcome back to Friend Bo. Here we're starting where we left off on Chapter 2. Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. Oh my goodness, that was close! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder, but that's actually in real life. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Like, there's a little bit of a storm going on outside, but I figure a little bit of thunder might just add to atmospherics. Hopefully we don't end up losing power or something like that. Ah, uh, look at the little birdie. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Ha ha ha, I remembered something funny. A very old uncle tried to blow on one of these, ha <laughs> ha. He farted all its gases out because it was so hard to blow. <laughs> right then. I know a story about a girl with red shoes, and she had a dog. I like animals, all of them. Dogs are animals. Oh god, we've just gone straight over to Detroit Become Human. I like dogs. Anyway, it's just a shoe, really. I should leave it there. What a pretty horse. The king would like this one. I'm not going back, though. He must escape himself. I wonder if they're looking for me. I could make something out of this. It looks like a door. A door. Dear, your arm is gone. Good that you're not bleeding. I'm kind of tired of all the red milk coming out of everyone. <laughs> well, no doubt, every time you take the pills you just see blood everywhere. Who dares to leave an innocent teddy without shelter? I wonder. Oh, it's a shame we can't take the teddy bear along. Mr. Midnight, are you in there? I guess not. I'll keep searching. Wow, a piano. It sounds old. I can touch the piano and play with it, but certainly not play it. Oh man, I feel you there. I wonder who the musician is out here in the middle of nowhere. Lots of stuff in this pile. It says Jants, and I have no idea why. Maybe it's just a name like mine or Mr. Midnight's. Maybe a music maker that stopped loving the music. I think we can kind of scare the little birdie off. Aww. What does it look like with the pills? Oh! Oh, dear. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> My friend just looks kind of scared, but... Oh, and there's a thing wandering around back in the background. So it's not super creepy here, just things wandering around. And aside from random ghost ladies and stuff. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's go this way. Ah. Huh. Hello, tree! <laughs> oh, that's all we get to say. Go back. And with the pills? Oh, dear. Hmm. Oh! Hello! <laughs> you remember maybe seeing these guys just briefly in the Little Misfortune trailer, too. But I'm not gonna say much more about them just now. Wow, these are very rare leaves! <laughs> yes, they're, they're the strange kind of leaves that have faces on them, Fran. They look a bit sad and old. Maybe they aren't leaves, they're too white. There's a key. Curiosity is damned! Damn you, curiosity! Oh, I like to be curious, otherwise how will you learn things? But what are you? You're kind of curious yourself. What is the right question, but why should be more appropriate? I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but that key isn't ours, and it's not yours for sure. It's always good to have an extra key, especially when you're up to something. 
we couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. You're very honest. I like that. I'm a person. Fran, pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. I have a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I have to find him. Really? Can I have the key now? Look, person Fran, we came from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about this key, and all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. So you're also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Give me the comb and I can fix you. There is a problem. A filthy thief took the comb. Now we're stuck forever. If you find the thief and the comb, you will have the key. Deal? Yes, but what does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy, narcissistic rat. He took the comb to be beautiful. Come on, rats are already beautiful. But maybe I'm just weird. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. I'll try my best. We will be here, waiting. Yeah, that's creepy. And that's a little bit strange to see when we're not on the pills. A giant ant and... Well, I already know it's a beetle pig, so a beetle pig! Hello, giant ant. Oh, wow, you really are a very big ant. Who's there? Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you real? Argh, you always ask the same thing. Always. Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where did you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital, but please don't tell anybody. I won't tell, don't worry. But what are you doing here? My cat's out here somewhere, and I have to find him. A cat, you say? Yes, sir, a black cat with very big yellow eyes, Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. Oh, so you haven't seen it? It happens to be that that cat is eaten, chewed and swallowed. <laughs> oh dear. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came toward me in a hurry. I catch it. I give it to my beetle pig. <laughs> my beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. The blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it, can't you see? Mr. Midnight is the only one I have. Please, tell me that you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do know, yes. I am the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Should I do something? Like make the beetle pig vomit? Kill the beetle pig. He's also the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. <laughs> That's um, ant logic, I guess. It's kind of like point and click adventure logic, but with ants. I'm curious to know if my kitty is still in there. Do it! You can kill the beetle pig, and I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat! I love this game. <laughs> Have I mentioned that? Oh yeah, we needed to- oh. oh, it's a hedgehog! Ah! I don't think I've ever seen that before! Oh, I want to play with you and pet you, little Mr. Hedgehog. Come back and I'll feed you mealworms. Oh, he left. Okay, okay. I wanted to look here and see what it looks like when we are on the pills. 
It's less weird on the pills than it is not on the pills. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Owl. How many licks does it take to a... Okay, no. Um, what kind of bird are you? You look like an owl, is that it? Your feathers are beautiful. Whoa! The terrible axe! I will be the warrior and savior of things! A sharpie axe that can cut and destroy things. Dangerous. I don't think we can... I don't want to destroy the door. Yeah, it's nice that they actually put in something for that. Okay, it just says the same thing. So what happens if we do this? Oh. The owl's still there. Interesting. But what does this say? Make an entry. Oh well, I could try to open it and see what's inside. I can't move the top, it's stuck. Just my luck. I can't force it with my delicate hands, I need something else. Hmm. I wonder if we can use... Oh! Bye, Mr. Owl. Well, I guess we'll never know how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop. Oh, a feather! Tickle, tickle, I'll keep it! I like it! Oh, I still have the axe. Hmm. What a bluff! There's no hole in here. All my forces united to do something unnecessary. There must be a meaning, otherwise it wouldn't be here. That's definitely point-and-click adventure logic. I do think if we want to make an entry, we could maybe use a door. I should make it into a complete door before trying this. Let's get off of these. Hmm. I think he's asleep. <laughs> Sir? Oh, he's fallen asleep. Oh, you pig. Did you eat my cat? Mr. Midnight, just wait. Don't die. I'll take you out of there real soon. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. <laughs> oh no, I scared the beetle pig. <laughs> If your friend's upset about it, like, oh, come back here and die, will ya? Okay, same thing, same thing. Oh, no. Wake up! The pig won't stay still! It seems that shouting and pushing him won't help. Maybe I have to try something more subtle. I'd say maybe we give him a tickle. Tickle, tickle. Ah, the threat is great, great! <laughs> Sir, wake up now. I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Oh, I see. But that is completely normal, isn't it? <laughs> Generally, yes. Yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries, the blueberries, mmm. But there are no berries in the woods. I shouldn't say this to you, but uh, I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh. oh no, poor little kitty fell in the river of blood. Firm! Bip, bip. Look, Fran, I'm in danger. Find me alive, find me dead. Bip, bip. Find me someday in a golden cage. Hmm. Oh, a house. Um, there is no smoke coming out of the chimney. A mushroomy pipe on the roof. Why did he put a mushroom on the pipe? 
Maybe you lost it. A little tiny house. Hello? I'm Fran. This looks tasty. Should I? Mm, maybe not. Good night, Mrs. Moon. How is everything? You're very pretty tonight. I think you make night very scary, but it's all right. Ever the optimist. This must be the ant's house. It seems to be open, but very stuck. The power of destruction will take it down. Let's hit more things with the axe. Oh no, I broke the door. Well, now I can get in. Oh, a door handle to handle big problems. I'll keep it. Kinda looks like the one from Alice in Wonderland, doesn't it? The Disney version. So, can we combine that with the door? This is perfect, but the handle won't stay on. So we need something else. Ah, what a charming, strange house. There's water in the sink. Maybe Sir Ant likes to drown tiny monsters in there. That's the first conclusion I'd come to, too. But then again, we are just ran into a giant ant. Or maybe he's just a very clean ant. I shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment. I mean, I think it's fairly obvious what we're going to use that for. Combine super glue with door handle. Some glue on the handle, and where should I paste it? I made a door. I wonder where it will lead me to. <laughs> the Queen of Meat. I'm... I'm assuming she works for Arby's. Wow, Ant Queen! I never saw anything like this! Hmm, tea time, sir. What a cozy little lamp. I wish I could sleep with my kitty on this bed, but I think that under the blanket there will be a lot of creatures, like bugs and such that would like to eat my brain. Yes, that's... again. Even if I wanted to take the meat, I can't reach it. He wouldn't mind if I take a little meat for those who hunger. Hmm. Now we have meat. Ah, but there's a little house over here. I wonder. Pinecones! <laughs> oh, everybody meet the Pinezelis again. This is um, something that got snuck just briefly into the demo for a Little Misfortune, so I'm hoping we get to see more of them. Hello, pi little pinecone folk. Sir, you look so angry. Oh well, yeah, you're poking him in the face. Your family is very nice, Sir Pinecone. But you're a really scary guy. Wow, you're very rare. Lady Pinecone, what are you cooking? Don't be scared, I just want some berries. I'm going to just kind of poke everybody in the face. Let's see. Oh, ooh, the blueberries! Ow! That hurts! <laughs> Stop it, you bad pinecone! I need the berries! I think I have to trick him, but how? <laughs> so I'm just, this whole thing just makes me laugh. I love these guys so much. She, um, One of the developers and the artists, um, Natalia, made a video where she was creating a pine zilu out of a pine cone, like a little craft project, and she did say that they were a type of troll, which I thought was really interesting. I did gather up a couple of pine cones, so I might make one of these sometime. Oh, <laughs> baby pine cone! Haha, <laughs> so sweet! I can knock over the baby pine cone, that's kind of dreadful. I don't remember exactly what you're supposed to do, I know it has to do with, with knocking the baby over. And then he did something. 
Let's see. So there's one thing that I haven't done yet, which is to look at the scene on the pills. Oh. Oh dear. That's... That's not good at all, is it? Ah, uh, there's a big pile of ants and a dead guy. You tiny creatures! Please don't eat me! Get off the bag, I want it! Did you eat this man's flesh? That's repulsive! Oh my goodness, a pest exterminator, and he's dead! Sir, you have tons of ants on you. Think they're trying to steal your bag? I wonder if there's anything that the ants might be interested in. Ah! See, much happier now. It worked! Now this bag is mine! Let's examine the bag. The bag shows an anti-bug sign. Hmm, the bag's open. Oh, a rat trap and some kind of card. Exterminator. Um, the text is almost gone. It says exterminator. Poor tiny monsters. The bug looks seriously mad. That's right, because we've got a little mouse trap now. So if we put the mouse trap, say, here. Nope, it's not the baby pine cone. It's if we try to steal it and... <laughs> I got you! Sorry, sir, but I really need the berries! <laughs> Poor little guy. I want to let him out. Oh, oh, now the mama's hitting me! Bad mama! Okay, well. Then I'm going to knock your baby over again. Yes, yes, I got them! They smell delicious! Oh no, they locked the door! Yeah, I was gonna let him out! Alright, well, I've got berries now, so let's go do something with them. Oh! Uh, hello? Hi, what are you? Um, <clears throat> excuse- oh. <laughs> she tried to wave at her. And you are precious and adorable and I just, like, you're the best. Do we look at this place? Oh. Wow, this is a really big anthill. It's scary to think how many millions of ants must be inside. I'm not sure if I want to go inside then. Well, we did already get to see what all was in there. Let's go back and say hello to Mr. Beetle Pig with an axe. I'm a very nice person, you understand this, right? <laughs> Here you go, some nice blueberries for you, you delightful little creature, you. Um, <clears throat> hold still just for a second, yeah? Oh. Oh no. Oh, dear me. It's a rat! What? You're not my cat? Oh, miss! You saved me from misery! But where's Mr. Midnight? I assume you're feeling disappointed. Wh who are you looking for? My cat, my lovely cat, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? My cat's also black. Wait, maybe that cat is my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Why, what happened? I can show you! Follow me, please! It's not far from here! I'm, I'm sorry, beetle pig. <laughs> you poor slaughtered beetle pig. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry, beetle pig. I wish I didn't kill you. The beetle pig is dead now, sir. Thank you! Now we eat! I can't. Just so you know, inside the beetle pig there was no cat, but a rat. A, a rat? Oh, I'm so sorry. You see, my eyes are very old. I also have heart problems and a very bad back. I also suffer from narcolepsy and sometimes I don't... <laughs> a 
<laughs> I need another feather. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, well, you've got some meat now. That's all well and good. Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Oh, my goodness. Could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Hmm. Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb! The shiny, beautiful hair comb! Can I have it, please? All right, then, but can you please comb my hair first? Of course I can comb your hair. Yes, I can comb your hair. Because that's just the cutest scene ever. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. You're very kind. I'm gonna comb. Alright, well. Go do something with the comb. Hello there. L long faces. Here's your beautiful- <laughs> Here's your beautiful comb, misters. Look how happy they are. Oh, you fran the person. You finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. See, they weren't that terribly scary after all. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. I got the key. Oh. Oh no. Rat, who did this to you? Was it my kitty? Go, go, go away, monsters. Alright, let's put a door here. This is really odd. My own door is locked. Arg! Arg, open. Why are you closed? I made you. I think, perhaps, we use the key. It worked! Woohoo! What a curious little door! I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight? Are you here? Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Chapter 2, Part 2, Double Personality. Which I will be starting in the next video. So, I will see you guys then. In the meantime, feel free to like or comment, and if you want random updates from my little world of art and gaming, subscribe. If you enjoy what I do and are interested in supporting the channel, check out my Patreon. A big thank you to my current patrons. That's all for now. Bye!